Today's at home workout is a seven minute arm workout with your qualified trainer, Lucy Windham Reid. So what I've done, I've picked you seven of the best arm exercises for women and I've put it in a little seven minute routine for you. All the moves are standing, we've got no equipment and this is simply just about getting strong and toned arms. So what I would say, if you haven't already, always do a warm up first. You can find this on my YouTube channel. Then when you're ready, I'm ready to start toning your arms at home today. So here's a preview of the first move. We're gonna be in a split stance and we're doing sets of four of these two moves. This really lovely at work in the back of your upper arms. So if you just come into position for me, have your palms facing inwards and we're gonna just take your elbows back and now let's get ready and extend four, take it three, two and one now hold it here and pulse it four go three two and one and just keep alternating so your palms face in you're leaning slightly forward so what i want you to make sure you're doing is keeping your core engaged now you can see on the right there is a timer bar here this represents around 50 seconds each move today seven minutes each move we do for 50 seconds and you get a little recovery and then I show you the next move so let's just keep going doing really well I've got no repeaters and let's just keep going so this is move one of seven lift those arms this is great at work in the back of your upper arms through your triceps nice control so you can see we've nearly finished on that first move all right, well done. So let's have a look now at move number two and just follow on the right, just shake out your arms and just watch now what we're gonna do the next move. So again, we're doing sets of four. We're gonna do where we do palm presses for four. So let's start four, go three, two and one. Now lift the arms up. So your elbows, if you're taking them out to the side of the wall and go four, take it three, two and one and keep alternating so again there's your timer bar representing 50 seconds let's just keep moving and we've got seven minutes today so it's going to fly by this is all about really toning and sculpting your arms it's also really good for your mobility your flexibility and your posture do make sure those knees slightly bent let's just keep going and really focus on the muscles you're working so you're working through the deltoids top of the shoulders biceps, triceps as well as working through your chest. Last little bit, let's just keep going. Nice control. All right, let's have a look now at move number three. So for this one, we're gonna pretend that we're running for four, four arms and then swimming for four. So a really nice move. And um, we'll get ready to come into position. And let's just imagine you are now running for four and now swim for four. So the idea is what I wanted to create in this workout for you was really make sure that I'm working your arms from lots of different ranges of motion. And also in the arms, we have lots of other little muscles we wanna really work and strengthen. So this isn't just about your major muscle groups, it's about your entire upper body. So let's just keep going. And also always do these with nice control. Think about the benefits you're getting. We're making your arms stronger, we're mobilizing your joints, which is really important as well. We're increasing circulation and we're also improving your flexibility and posture. So let's just keep going right till we reach the top on that timer bar. Nice control. And let's just sprint with those arms for four and just finish it off with four swimming arms. Right, let's have a look at your next move. So for this one, we're gonna do a palm press down and then we're gonna squeeze the arms in. Again, you're doing sets of four of both moves. So let's come into position, knees slightly bent, arms up, palms forward, squeeze in, three, take it two and one. And now hold it here, then bend down and bring up. So you're just bending and it rotating through the elbow for four, then squeeze them back in for four. So again, really think of your posture, keep that upper body nice and straight. And just think while you're doing this, why you're doing this. You are doing this to make your arms stronger, to have better mobility, and just to feel really confident and love your arms. Our arms are really important, so let's keep them nice and strong. Let's also focus on keeping those core muscles engaged. Keep that going and make sure those elbows stay at shoulder height. Draw them in and then back 
All right, that's good. So let's have a look at your next move coming up. So for this one, we're gonna alternate doing rolling arms where we take them up and down. And then we're also just gonna add in some fun full arm swings on there. So let's just get ready. And now let's circle around with those arms, traveling them up and then bringing them back down. And as I said, always work through your fullest range. Now give me four of these straight arm lifts and now take it straight back to your rolling arms. So just follow along. And what I've deliberately done is added in lots of different moves. So I'm really working on your, what's called motor skills. So that is your mind and muscle connection. So this is about agility as well. That's Princess Raisin's tail, <laughs> but you can see that. Um, because I want you to have quick reaction times. Whenever I'm training you, I want you to get maximum results in lots of different areas as well about your mental and physical health. So let's just keep going. And just well done. Keep rolling those arms and give me four of those swings. Three, let's take it two and one. All right, let's have a look at your next move coming up. So for this one now, your knees are gonna be slightly bent, your core is pulled in, and we're gonna have one arm in front and you're just gonna pull that arm as far back as you can, alternating from one to the other. So let's get ready and just draw that back in. And so this one here, aim to keep your hands in line with your shoulders. Second time you do this workout, as I always say, you don't always have to listen to me coaching you. You can put on your favorite music, just turn down the volume. But obviously as your online trainer, I like to just coach you to ensure you're doing the exercises correctly. So let's just keep that going. This is about really toning, strengthening through your arms, through your shoulders, drawing that back. And if this is an area that perhaps you've struggled with and you wanna get really good results, I do have a brand new 21 day online course and this has everything from workouts to light cardio to health eating and I'll leave all the details in the link down below. All right, let's just keep going, last little bit and we are now done on that move. So let's have a look at your next move. So for this one, and this is your final move, again, we're doing sets of four. We're gonna start, so your knees are bent, and it's if you're leaning slightly forwards, and we're gonna do it where we're just extending the arms out to the sides. So you can just follow along, three, go two, and one. Now hold it here, push them in front, so it's as if you are about to, I don't know, dive, <laughs> all right? So let's just keep going, open them out, and just check for position for me. Again, you're leaning slightly forwards from your hips, so it is really important while you're doing this that you keep those tummy muscles pulled in tight. That's gonna protect your back and lift those arms out to the side. And it is really important if ever there is an exercise you don't like, then just swap it for something you do like as well. So this one here is gonna be great for your posture as well. And the good thing is with this workout, because we're just using body weight, we're not going to, um, we don't want to cause any injuries, so you can do this workout as often as you want. In fact, I would encourage you to because it's really good for joint health, for your mobility as well. All right, that's it. And let's just keep going. Last little bit on there. So well done. Let's just shake out those arms. Just give me a little bit of a shoulder roll there. And that is your workout complete. So well done. You did it. There is your high five. What I'd like you to do for me is just march on the spot and just give me a few little shoulder rolls on there just until that timer stops. And as I always say to you, every time you move your body, you are investing in your future health. And that's my job as your online trainer to keep you moving and keep you motivated. So if you like today's video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not already, definitely come and subscribe and I'll see you back on my YouTube channel tomorrow and that was Princess Raisin's tail running across. <laughs>